Hi, my name is Tim Clark with Longshore Boats located in Charleston, South Carolina. Today I'm standing aboard this beautiful 2018 Edgewater 370cc. Here I am at the helm on the 370cc. We've got twin 8617 Garmin GPS's. We have a VHF and this is a 300 AIS unit. We have the Optimus joystick system. We also have uh, bow thruster on this boat. Using these two in conjunction when you're docking or getting up on a trailer makes it a breeze to handle this boat. We also have the Yamaha digital throttle controls which is excellent and then if you pan out and look at this helm seat you have a great independent helm seat with armrests and then you have a controller that will move it forward and back at the touch of a button. Very very comfortable helm chair. You also have a double passenger seat, again same setup, we have bolster seats, and then we have an excellent footrest. Really comfortable setup when you're underway. Last thing I want to show you on this helm is the view. You have a panoramic windshield, there's no bars, there's no obstructions, and there's lots of coverage. So when you're underway in this boat, not only is the wind being thrown out, but you have excellent sight lines. The bow section of the 370 is excellent. You have a lounge set up up front that's actually recessed into the cabin top. This makes it really, really comfortable, but also very secure. It's got excellent ergonomics. We have drink holders, port and starboard, and we have USB plugins to charge your phone and even control the stereo from up forward. We have U-shaped seating up front, nice and wide with excellent bolster back seats. So when you sit in these chairs, you're very, very comfortable. Lots of cushion space. No, no problem to get inside these uh, lockers here. All we have to do is pull the quick release and it lift it up. No more unsnapping the cushions to get inside the lockers on the bow. Just shut it like a trunk of a car. It's a snap. Still on the bow of the uh, 370, we have an anchor windlass, we have a through-hull anchor system, fresh water to wash down your anchor, and a nice big lid. R lots and lots of line in this, about 350 feet. Nice big fish boxes on the 370, port and starboard, fully insulated, decks insulated. Uh, we have gasketed lids, double uh, access points on it, and then uh, we have each one macerated separately. Really nice setup, really tight fitting. Also on the transom, we have uh, a cold locker right here. This has got cold plates, so you can turn these things all the way up. It'll keep everything cold or even frozen, whether you're fishing or you're going over to the Bahamas and you need cold storage. You've definitely got it in this boat. Runs off a 12 volt system, so you don't need a generator. Over here we have a 40 gallon live well, nice big live well, rounded corners, insulated, sight glass in the top, does a great job. Back aft, also in the transom we have a storage area for five gallon buckets. You'll see the inlay, those fit a five gallon bucket exactly. When you shut this deck hatch, it wedges them in there so they're not, not going to go. For any of us guys that like to fish, it's awesome to have two five gallon buckets and a place to get them out of the way. Walk through the transom. We've got plenty of room to walk back in front of the engines, whether that be for routine maintenance, cleaning, service, or even if you're fighting a fish around the engines, you've got plenty of egress around here. Uh, four rod holders on the transom, nice setup there, plenty of space back here. Excellent uh, stern console on this boat, lift up the hatch. We have a Kenyan grill, we have fresh water, built in cutting board. Nice setup there. And then if you look under here, you have a refrigerator, ACDC refrigerator, trash bin, and then plenty of drawer storage all the way down. Here I am in the cabin on the 370. This is really a nice cabin for this size boat. So we have a, a galley here, we have a sink, Again, a refrigerator here, microwave, television set, and storage, okay? Down in here, we have a full head with shower, 
fully air conditioning, runs off an inverter system, as long as your motors are running, you'll have indefinite air conditioning, engines off for about seven hours, and of course when you plug it in to shore power, it'll, it'll activate the system. Lots of rod storage in this boat, love what they did here, just lift this up, tons of storage. Easily fit six rods in here, okay? Now I'm not gonna lift it up, but there's access into your bilges uh, for your pumps, your air conditioning unit, very easy to access. You also have access ports to your back of your, uh, your instrument panel through the uh, head compartment. Nice, nice, nice setup. Ventilation all the way around, big Bomar hatch with screen and shade setup. A couple could easily weekend on this boat. Thanks for watching this video on the 370 Edgewater. My name is Tim Clark with Longshore Boats located in Charleston, South Carolina. You can reach me at 843-216-4700 or check us out on the web at longshoreboats.com. Have a great day.